Hey, what's going on YouTube? I hope all is well. It's your boy Abul Hassan. I'm back here with another video. Today is a video that you guys don't want to miss. I'm going to show you guys how to get approved for five to seven credit cards with only two hard inquiries on each credit bureau. Now, I know that sounds impossible, but I've done it and I've done it for numerous clients of mine, my loved ones, my family, my friends, everybody. So I'm going to show you guys how to be able to do it and let's get after it right now. Now, Boo, that doesn't make any sense, right? How are you getting approved for five to seven credit cards with only two hard inquiries on each credit bureau? Well, I'm going to show you guys a secret sauce in this video. So the one thing you guys really have to understand is that you want to get credit cards when you don't need them because when you need them, that's promise you guys, you'll never get them. And right now it's 2023 and there's a lot of speculation in regards to being a recession. So we're going to see a lot of credit card issuers actually slash a lot of credit lines and also make it really stringent on people to be able to get approved for certain credit cards just due to the fact that funds are limited. They want to be able to make sure that they give it out to the best credit borrowers and also the people that can really hold their credit and be disciplined and responsible borrowers, right? Now, with that being said, right, as far as being able to get approved for five to seven credit cards with only two hard inquiries on each credit bureau, how do we do this? So what we really have to understand is that most credit card issuers, they really have like kind of like a favorite I like to call as far as a credit bureau that they go ahead and use in order to pull your credit report, right? So for example, Navy Federal really likes to pull from TransUnion. So most of the time that you guys are applying for say a Navy Federal credit account, auto loan, whatever it may be, they're gonna go ahead and actually use TransUnion in order to pull your guys report, right? And so this is really important because of the fact that if we know which credit card issuers like which credit bureaus, then we're able to maximize our credit pools by only having two to three hard inquiries on each of the credit bureaus and also being able to maximize the amount of credit cards we're able to get, right? Now, first of all, we really have to talk about the data points that you guys are gonna need in order to be able to get approved for these credit accounts. Because I really wanna make sure that you guys get approved for high limits and you don't get approved for say $500,000. Because if you guys wanna get those higher limits right, getting those $500, $1,000 credit cards is really gonna kinda shoot yourself in the foot by not being able to bounce back from that well I mean you really can but at the same time it's gonna take a lot longer it's gonna be more of an uphill battle right and what do I mean by that right so the thing is that we have to understand is that banks will always lend second money they'll never lend you guys first money right now what does that mean Abu so basically what that means is that right so if a credit card issuer previously say I've already got approved for American Express with five thousand dollars previously right now if I go apply for Chase now Chase sees that basically American Express has already trusted me with five thousand dollars and I've been able to be a responsible borrower paying it off on time making sure my balance is always up to date and in paid in full right and also never missing a payment then basically whenever I apply for that Chase account Chase is gonna go ahead and trust American Express's guidelines and their determination and be like hey at the same time Abu is able to handle five thousand dollars from American Express what makes us think that he can't handle five thousand ten thousand dollars from us right so that's really what we have to understand is setting ourselves up for success right and so so basically, with that being said, right, how are we able to get five to seven credit cards with only two to three hard inquiries? Now, I have a secret lenders list. If you guys will sign up with my newsletter, I'll be able to go ahead and shoot you guys an email with the secret lenders list, right? Now, this is a secret, secret list that I only include in my courses and I only give it to my clients. What this list really entails is that basically it'll show all the different banks, right? And it'll show which banks use which credit bureaus, right? So the Federal, you train Union, Chase will most likely use Experian, Capital One, usually pulls from all three credit bureaus so we really have to make sure and be strategic and intentional whenever we're applying for these credit accounts so the first thing I want to talk about again is those data points right so what data points will I need to get approved basically automatically now I know a lot of people kind of really just focus on their credit score I don't want you guys to focus on your credit score right I want you guys to focus on your credit report right because at the same time the credit report really makes up your credit score right so if you guys know what to put on your credit report then you're able to change or decrease your overall credit score score now I know you guys are on this channel right now to go ahead and increase your credit score so we'll talk about the actual data points that we'll need now what are the data points and what does data points even mean a boo well simply data points are just simple criteria that you guys will need in order to be able to get approved right so what first thing I want you guys to do is have at least 10 positive accounts that are actually are in good standing they don't have a late payment the balances are always paid in 
in full. The utilization is at least 10% or lower, right? No missed payments, no anything, charge off collections, good accounts, right? The next thing that we're gonna look for, right, is that I want you guys to clean up your credit report, right? I want you guys to have one correctly spelled name, one current address, right? And then also, I want you guys to have one current employer, right? So this just allows really for you guys to have a clear credit report because most of the times, people don't get denied due to the fact that basically they don't have a good credit score, good credit report. Most of the times, people get denied just because of the simple fact that it's more of a concern of fraud, right? Say if you have a misspelled name or any misspelled addresses, say if your dad's a senior and he has the senior on your name instead of your dad's name, most credit card issues are gonna look at that and it's gonna signal a lot of red flags just because they wanna make sure that whoever's applying for this account is actually in the same person that's actually applying, right? The next data point I want you guys to have is at least five to six years of age, right? Because at the end of the day, credit card issuers, they wanna see that you've been able to handle credit over a good amount of period of time, right? Now, whenever you guys first get your credit score, right, in the first two years that you guys have a credit score, and that's actually gonna be called what they call a pseudo score, right? So it's kind of like a fake score, right? They don't really give you a real FICO score until you pass that two year mark, right? Because they wanna see that you've been able to handle your credit accounts over a good period of time. So the next data point I want you guys to have is have 10% utilization or lower, right? So 10% utilization, again, is gonna really set you guys up for success to be able to get approved at the highest amount and get the most amount of funding, right? So what that means is that if you have an overall credit card of $1,000, right, that means that you only spend $100 on that credit card account, and that really shows lenders that you don't need credit, right? So once you guys show lenders that you guys don't need credit, that's when they're gonna give you more credit because they look at you as a responsible, disciplined borrower and your risk score for being delinquent or default on any of your loans or any of your credit accounts is a lower rate than compared to if you had a higher utilization, right? After this, I want you guys to have zero derogatory items or any negative items, right? I don't want you guys to have any late payments. Again, late payments make 35% of your score and it's the easiest, easiest way to lower your credit score and really set yourself back from being able to get approved for those accounts that you really want. So we want to have no collections. We want to have no late payments. We also don't want to have charge off bankruptcies, repossessions, evictions, whatever it may be. We don't want any negative items because of the fact that any negative item will weigh down your score and it will also signal a lot of red flags to these lenders and possibly get you guys denied. So the next data point that I wanted to talk about is that I want you guys to have literally two or four hard inquiries at max, right? By being able to have the least amount of hard inquiries, it really allows us to put our best foot forward whenever we're going ahead and applying for these credit accounts. There's a thing called the 524 rule, right? So basically this is with Chase, right? So Chase is very selective on who they do business with and you'll see this like kind of like not the same 524 rule but kind of like a variation of that rule where if you're applying for a lot of accounts in a short amount of period of time most credit card issuers are just going to automatically deny your account because of the fact that it looks like you're seeking credit a lot looks like you're living above your means and that you need credit instead of credit being a good you know what I mean tool that you guys can use in order to go ahead and fund your lifestyle and also just be able to be self-sufficient right so with the 524 rule means that if you apply for five different accounts and you're approved within the 24 month period, Chase will automatically deny your credit application. It doesn't matter if you have an 800, 850. That's why having the least amount of hard inquiries and also being very, very strategic on which accounts that we're applying for, right? Now we got through the data points that we went ahead and needed. Now what do we do at Boot to get approved for five to seven different credit cards? Now what I like to do as far as when I apply for credit card accounts, I like to do it at night, right? Like possibly 11 or even like, you know what I mean, up to three in the morning. So once you guys do it at night, right, it's more of an internal system and it's going to be computer generated, right? So there's a higher chance that you guys are able to get possibly approved right away with, a, say, a computer generated decision, right? And so what I would do, right, is I would first I would go ahead and get the secret lenders list in the link below in the bio, right? See exactly which credit accounts that you guys really like. Also, make sure that you guys are being strategic and intentional with the credit card accounts that you guys are applying for, right? So after this, this I want you guys to pick out five to seven credit cards and and I also want you guys, the credit card accounts that you guys are gonna pick, right? They're gonna be different credit bureaus, right? So don't do anything more than three credit bureaus for each credit card, right? And so basically after we went ahead and again, pick the credit card accounts that we're gonna have, now what I want you guys to do is literally simply open up different tabs for each of individual card, right? And just basically do one application, submit, do another application, submit, and just keep going until you guys finish. And basically after that, you guys can go ahead and see if you guys get approved, most likely you 
will get approved and so I hope you guys get approved and rooting for you guys and since you guys watched to the end of this video here's one major tip that I really want to give you guys right so like I mentioned previously in this video most people don't get denied for credit card accounts due to the fact that they have bad credit or any poor credit most of the times it's usually because of the fact that they have fraud concern or there's some red flags or anything on your credit report and they can't be able to verify that it indeed it was you the actual person who's applying for this credit card account now if you guys get denied I have a joke with my friends right I say hey we don't really get denied for credit card accounts because of the fact that I actually know this right and so if I get denied for a credit card account what I want you guys to do is call the reconsideration line you can simply type this up online uh, for example if you guys apply for a chase account just type in chase reconsideration line and basically what this will do will allow you to speak to a representative and ask them why did you guys get actually denied right now most of the times if they deny you guys for more than one reason then a reconsideration isn't possible but for example if it's say only one reason like you had one hard inquiry or too many accounts recently and just explain to them and elaborate your situation just be like hey listen like I know that I was denied for this but I would like for a reconsideration I feel like I'm a great candidate for this credit card and I'd really love to earn you guys business and do business with you guys now most of the time if you guys go ahead and ask and elaborate your situation what the representative will do is look over your credit report and look over your credit application right and they'll go ahead and most likely approve you guys and so this is a really great way to get approved and turn a denial into an approval now I really hope this video was helpful if you guys can do me a favor make sure you guys subscribe and tap the bell notification below to get updated on all the new videos that we're dropping this is the best YouTube channel on financial literacy and entrepreneurship on YouTube I promise nobody's giving game out like this and this is not the game that you guys can Google so one other favor I want you guys to do is go ahead and share this with five friends so you guys can be able to grow together right and if you guys found this helpful share this with them and ask them hey watch this video and possibly subscribe if you guys found this information knowledgeable because just imagine if you guys are able to get credit card accounts and help all of your friends right then you guys can be able to come together and actually do business and get more funding and really be able to buy your own boss and get the lifestyle that you guys want life's too short not to let's get after it and i'll see you guys in the next video squad